YT fam. My name is Angie. If you're new to the channel, I am a new mom finding my way through this whole mom experience. And so I have a seven month old baby girl, Logan. I have three fur babies and I'm also a wife and I'm transitioning into being a stay at home mom, which has been quite a journey. And I post videos about anything that I think about, anything that I'm experiencing, whether that's mom life, marriage life, personal thoughts and opinions. Today's personal thought and opinion is based on me deleting my TikTok app. It's been about a year since I've been inactive on Instagram. I still have my account. I just, since I became pregnant, I really wanted to soak in being pregnant and focusing on and preparing for the birth, just taking my time to go very inward and focus on that. Then it's been, so since I was pregnant, had the baby, I haven't been back on since then. About three months ago, I decided to download TikTok because a lot of family members and friends send me TikTok videos. I figured, let me go ahead, download this app, and it'll make watching these videos easier and I'll be able to see what's going on in this TikTok world. I recently decided to delete my TikTok. And the reason I deleted it is because I found myself going from my normal screen time, I do tend to measure my time. My normal screen time was around an hour, at most two hours a day. After downloading TikTok, I saw that it jumped up to six to eight hours a day, which is a full-time job if you ask me. And I realized that I found myself, every time I had a minute to myself, swiping through TikTok, which I believe it's part of a lot of people's every day, whether it's Instagram, TikTok, any of these platforms. I'm really a fan of YouTube because I do like to sit down and watch videos, informative, funny, movies, anything really. I ended up deleting my TikTok because I found that there is a lot of information out there and I necessarily don't need to take it all in as well as it's so fast you're just swipe 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 new video new topic new idea another thing i found myself experiencing while having a TikTok is that if someone has an opinion on there sometimes it started influencing my thoughts on something we should all do what is best for each of us because we are all unique and different we could talk about that for days now with tiktok i kept on finding myself being a little doubtful of things i believe that are okay i just didn't want any more influence on my thoughts and opinions maybe you could look at it as being informative. However, I do see stuff on TikTok sometimes that is not accurate. I saw pages that were recommending herbs for pregnant women that herbalists I have spoke to told me otherwise. I've seen a lot of people recommend doing things to their babies that I personally wouldn't do. However, we're all allowed to do whatever it is we feel is best for our children. And I found myself feeling very overwhelmed. I know not too long ago, maybe about a year or two ago, I think it was called The Social Experiment on Netflix. It was a documentary or movie that was put out there about how people who made social media made it to be addictive. And I have found within these past few months that I was starting to build this very addictive behavior with TikTok. And being a new mom, I really do want to 
put my time and energy into things that both benefit me and the baby as well as my fur babies in my relationship. I did go into the TikTok app with the idea that I was going to make it a business, a profitable source of income. However, I don't find myself recording much on there and wanting to record every aspect, every minute of things that sometimes I'm just experiencing in real life and I just didn't get to capture it. It's just here. Another thing that I found myself getting in the habit of was checking my phone constantly, which I had broke that habit when I first had the baby during my pregnancy. I was right back to it. I was right back to this app that I had to open, that I had to check, that I, and it started making me do it with everything in my phone. I'm not blaming TikTok. It's my own personal choice to have been going in my phone, checking and checking it. But I started feeling that, that need to check my phone, which I don't like that feeling. So I decided to delete the app. I just didn't want the app to keep looking at it, to keep filling my time, to keep taking time from me that I'd rather do other things with. On YouTube, it is a little more work. You have to edit your video. You have to upload it. You have to build a following, which on any platform, you have to build a following. On TikTok, it is more, you can find a certain niche or certain content that people content people like i don't think i have found that niche yet i even see it with my youtube videos i'm just posting about life it's something i'm getting used to right now whenever i watch niche videos and how to find your niche i i'm like that's great i just i don't know right now where i want to really take this channel no i just was making this video to really share my personal experience on why I deleted TikTok. I might find myself back on Instagram. I don't see it happening anytime soon within this year. See it within maybe the beginning of next year. I have enjoyed not being on there as well. Sometimes I think that in this time right now, we tend to have so much information just poured into our life, poured into our, through our eyes, through our ears, through these apps, through our phone. It can become very overwhelming. I believe the word is desensitizing. It's crazy how you hear about something so dramatic one day, like someone dying, someone getting arrested, someone being murdered. And then the next day, the next or or within an hour the next topic is a cute little dog or it's just so drastic right um, it's so drastic that I find my brain needs a break from it it needs a break from other people's information some of us take the time to google it and see if it's a fact some of us might just go for it and not realize if it's a fact or not it's so much i do love the simplicity of being surprised by the day i love the simplicity of not needing to be so engaged in my phone and i love reading i really do and I realized that I was, all my books, I have not opened them since I've downloaded these apps. And again, that's my personal experience. I know there's people who read, who work, who find time to do it all and manage these social media apps, which is great. Me personally, I was starting to get a little sucked into it and I have been neglecting other things that I want to give more time and attention to. I hope that this video does find you if you are someone who feels like deleting the app or taking a break from it, if you're someone who has been feeling overwhelmed by the amount of information, 
that you receive on a daily from news, from radio stations, from apps. Maybe when you drive to work, put your own music on your phone so that you're not listening to the little commercials and the ads. Maybe take a break from social medias. Maybe monitor your screen time. Maybe whatever works for you. For me personally, what works is deleting the apps and finding my way back whenever I feel I'm ready for it. Right now, the only app I'm ready for is YouTube. And that's what I want to spend my time and energy on when I have the time and energy. And aside from that, I want to spend it on my family and I want to spend it on reading. It's something that I, I do enjoy coloring. I haven't colored, I haven't painted. And these are all things I enjoy. These are all things that I've kind of put on the back burner to spend time on a nap. And I don't want that feeling anymore. I'm leaving you with that thought. Let me know how you feel about it. Let me know if you find yourself loving it, hating it, being neutral to it. Again, YT fam, thank you for watching. If you did watch this long, have a great rest of your day, sending you guys love, sending you guys light and clarity. Don't forget to meditate, don't forget to pray, don't forget to do the things that make you happy, make you shine, make you relax, and put time aside for those things. Bye.